You might have heard that free will is an illusion. As weird as that sounds, many insist that we don't really have the ability to choose our actions because it's ruled out by the laws of classical physics. Classical physics says that everything that ever happens in the universe, including what happens inside of our brains when we're making a decision, is determined by what happened before. And that would leave no room for free will. Quantum physics doesn't help much because even if what goes on inside of our brains does have a degree of randomness, which quantum theory would suggest, that doesn't sound a whole lot like free will. But others suggest that free will operates not at the level of individual particles and atoms, but rather complex collections of them. Free will is a biological thing, in other words, and cannot be reduced to microscale physics. So then what do biologists have to say about it? In his new book, neuroscientist Robert Sapolsky explores what we know about how the brain makes decisions and the influences that shape them from our genes to our life experiences. He says that there are so many influences beyond our conscious awareness that there is no room left for free will. But neuroscientist Kevin Mitchell, who also has a new book out on the subject, argues that we do have free will and that it is the result of the evolution of biological agency. This is the ability to act with intention or purpose and it's the key property of all living things. Mitchell argues that biological agency is the reason that nervous systems evolved, to give living things more autonomy over their actions. He says it would be a mistake to try to reduce all cause and effect to the smallest scales. Let me know below if you think that we have free will and click the link in bio to read more about it.